Hello, paper pumpkin people. How are you today? This is Jilly Bling. Uh, my blog is jillybling.com, and this project is all about paper pumpkin. Just a minute, I've got it right over here. Right here, paper pumpkin. So if you are a subscriber, this is what you received in the mail, but you probably know I don't do things the way that they should be. So, searched the internet and I found a few ideas that I like using this kit. And I thought we'd do this one today. So, this I found, um, Creative Chelsea designed this card. And I'll give her credit for all of it, and I just copied it. But I like to make this card today. So this is the flower. There's a stamp set that, here's a stamp set, but it comes with this little flower right here, which, you know, when I was thinking about it, does that really mean Christmas? No, not at all. So that could be a springtime flower in whatever colors you like. Um, I do love the Merry Christmas stamp, and we'll be heat embossing that. So let's get started. Okay, stuff, we'll be using the blends. This is the one we'll be making. And this designer paper, that's the envelope. Who knew? Let's see, I have one of them here. Look what's on the inside. Very cute, might as well use it. But look in here, the whole way down, printed paper. Yep, Chelsea is creative. She decided to use it as a background, so that's what we'll be doing. Um, we'll also be using the Gilded Gold Gems. Okay, so Gilded Gems, we'll use those. This die is from Tasteful Labels. So we'll be using this one. Run it through on black paper. So here it is all done. Make sure to use your embossing buddy. Okay, I can set that off to the side. Okay, so let's start from the bottom of the card and work up. So here is the base paper. This is soft suede. Okay, and let's see the inside. Very simple. Outside, you know, after coloring all these flowers, I thought the inside I could put flowers in there, but that means I have to color them, and I kind of had enough, enough coloring already. So this is Cherry Cobbler. This looks like it's about to run out. Ran out. Oh, and I have a new subscriber this month. Welcome, Ruth, to Paper Pumpkin. It's always nice. It's always fun to get your very first one. Okay, it's always fun to get all of them. You know what? My paper has a little wrinkle down there. I'll try to flan it. Ooh, that worked. Okay, and so I'll put the cherry paper, cherry cobbler paper on the inside. Or just an extra little layer because there's no stamping it's easy just to stick the layers in at this point okay so now next layer is the designer paper which as I mentioned it comes from oh, this thing means something I'll show you in just a minute that was in the kit. Um, this designer paper comes from here. So I'm going to start out by cutting off the flap, then cutting the sides. And my little cutter down here, hold on. Okay, off goes the flap. 
Now I'm going to cut off this side and this side. So I cut off these two sides so it opens up and look at that. That's the gem I want. So now I'm going to cut right here. Okay, so I cut that away. So now this piece here, I'm going to start out by cutting off this edge so that I'm into the designer paper. So that I just cut off and now I'm going to make this piece here five and a quarter by four. You know my little, these are garbage. Or, well, you know what, I still might use that one. Well, I still might use that too. So this piece Hold on just a minute. I, my little paper cutter is too small. That it doesn't go to five and a quarter. So I'm going to cut off just that much right there. It's kind of a cheating way to do it, but it works. Okay, so this is now five and a quarter by four, and nothing happens with this paper other than it sticks down and it looks lovely. Okay, that goes on to the card base with the words going up and down, not upside down. Okay, that's good. These are going to go off to the side. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. Okay, and what else do we have here? This is Whisper White. That's going to go on the inside, a little stamping. How about we heat emboss this? So I'm going to do Merry Christmas and stamp it in Versamark ink. And then put it into white powder. And I already did my embossing buddy on it. Okay, there's that. Put it into white powder. I did the embossing buddy, but I see a few freckles on here. I always keep a little mini paintbrush that's been carried all over so it's not in that best condition condition but I'm gonna get rid of all these little freckles that I see oh right in there can I get it okay well now I removed a little dot on the H okay that's good and now I will use my heat tool to set that. there it is okay so let's see what else what else do we have going here this white textured piece I left this I am going to with my paper cutter cut off a 
quarter of an inch off of here. Okay, a quarter inch is gone. This is now three and seven eighths. So that just gets put down on here. And I'm leaving uh, maybe a half an inch over here. Okay, that's garbage now. So this gets this gold label banner on it. So, oh, embossing powder. Ew. Um, adhesive on here to hold the gold banner. And then I'm going to center. So this amount of gold equals that amount of gold. And it's really sticky. So when you go to put it on, once it's on, I think it wants to stay there. Okay. Now I'm going to put dimensionals all over on the back. Maybe I could use this big edge one. This is a big area. Perfect place and time to use this thing. There's a dog telling me he wants to go O-U-T. I'm trying to pretend like I don't hear him. Because he was just O-U-T. It's hard to know with him. Okay, so this is going to go in the middle of the white panel. So when you lay your white panel, make sure it's at least a half an inch. This one I did a little bit shorter, and this is getting really close. Okay, and so next is the flowers. And I already stamped those on Whisper White paper, cut them out, and colored them using Cherry Cobbler. Oh, I haven't done this part. This is Mango Light. I'll put that in the center. I hear him over there saying, I want to go. I wish I had some pretzel or something to bribe him with. And so on these flowers, there's three flowers and two little mini flower tops. So two of these are going to have double layers of flowers. There's two lines, two lines, three lines. These two double lined ones, it makes it easy to line it up. Okay. And then the flat one with not being a double, that one just goes down plain flat. And if this one is going to go here, this one gets tucked in right about there. This one gets a little bit of glue on it. And this one will get a little glue on it. And then I'll put a dimensional here and one here. And stick these flowers on. Usually I put them on the flower. I don't know why I did it different this time. Okay, and now the gilded gems. So I'll put three of these on. I'll put a mini one, the smallest. 
red right here, a medium one right here, and a medium one down at the bottom. Uh oh, where'd that go? Oh, I don't know that I told you the rest of the marker colors. Back to that. So this is Mango Light, Cherry Light and Dark, Jade Light and Dark, and Olive Light and Dark. Okay, so the top is done. Dun, 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 dun. And the inside is going to be simply Joy. Okay, and then to you and yours. There it is. Oh, I got ink on me. Look at that. I like it. I like it. You know what? I think that's it with this one. So I'm going to make, because there was four banners, I'm going to make four of this design. And I've got a few more designs coming up, so stay tuned. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And as soon as I post the video, it will come to you. So you'll have ideas of what to do with your paper pumpkin if you don't want to do it like the plan. And again, thank you to Creative Chelsea for coming up with this great design. I like it. Have a good day. Bye.